Good morning. It is Monday, August 28th, 8.15 a.m. The morning after our game against the Rhine Fire. And I'm making this video because I want to share some of my thoughts on why I am retiring. I'm also talking a little bit quiet because I have some roommates that are sleeping, but I just felt like now is the time to make this video. I have three main reasons. The first reason is that my passion to be the best player that I can be is gone. Like I don't care as much about being a great football player as I do about the experiences that have come from playing football in Europe, the relationships I've built, the places I've gotten to travel, um, and the freedom that has come with living out here and kind of being isolated from my comfort zone in America in some sense. Um, I mean that I have had a lot of time to think about my life and think about what I want to do, um, What's next for me? What, what version of myself do I want to become? That, that's the part of living over here that I also really enjoyed. And so, yeah, one of the reasons I would say is that I care more about other things than I do about football. And that's, that's a good sign that it's time to kind of move on. Um, the second reason I'm retiring is because my body definitely doesn't feel as good as it used to. Um, It's not that I couldn't play another season. I definitely could come back and, and play another season, especially if I train for it. But my body just doesn't feel as good. It takes a lot longer to to recover after games. And I and the biggest thing is I have felt myself trying to protect myself more during the games. I think that much of my success and this is a tip for all you young players out there if you want to be a great football player you have to play fearlessly you can't go out there and think oh I gotta make sure I don't get hurt you're just not going to be great you have to go out there with the mindset of I'm here to play a game and I'm here to to, to do a certain thing I'm going to do it regardless of if it hurts uh, and I and I just I want to play with my future kids one day. I want to just live a life without a lot of pain. I'm thankful that after all these years of football, I never never had to have a surgery, so that's really good. But I, I don't want to wait for the day for that to happen to to stop. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, for those who are that, – to answer that question, because oh, a lot of people have said you, 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 you could still play another season. And it's like, yeah, I could. Um, but is it worth it to me? Um, no, I don't think so. I think I can give back to the game in other ways um, than my actual body. Um, and the third and the main reason, this is the, the biggest reason, is that um, I'm aiming for a higher success in my life. I think for a lot of my life I define success as applause, as notoriety, people knowing me, people thinking I'm special um, in a big sense, you know, a lot of people um, doing something really out there that's different. Um, and I can do that pretty easily in Europe. Just being out here, I just kind of stick out playing football, um, pretty significant as uh pretty much the star on every team I've gone to, or a star at least. And I'm rede redefining that, you know. I want, to, I want to be a great husband. That's my number one goal. I want to be a great husband, and I want to just develop into a more mature human being that can see a little bit deeper, you know, what's, of, what's more most important in life. And I think for me, the most important thing is being, being a great husband. And so I, therefore I want to set myself up to be a great husband. And the best place to do that is back home, not here. Um, I think my life can get 
very centered on myself when I'm in Europe and when I'm playing football and being the star. Um, but it's been great. I'll tell you what, this year has been great because I, it has given me the opportunity to say goodbye to the sport and really see the sport one last time as just a game, you know? Um, I think it's really easy to say, oh, it's just a game, it's fun, whenever you're winning, you know? It's it's harder to say, oh, it's it's just a game and, and you can smile when you're getting your butt kicked, which has happened a lot this year. And I think I had a hard time with that idea, knowing that my last season would end with like the worst offensive statistic performance of my life. Um, but it, it actually is pretty cool because, you know, my whole aim is to, to see success as something more important as, as your relationships, the people that you love and how, how well do you love them? How well do you serve them? It's not about me, you know? And so I think it's kind of a, it's a kind of fitting ending that we had a pretty difficult season and offensively really struggled and I didn't score a lot of touchdowns and I didn't have a lot of stats. Um, but I had a great season because I had fun and I loved, I love being out here with the guys and learning about them and, and seeing the bigger picture. And so, um, yeah, it's going to be a weird feeling. I, 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 it took a long time for me to get to the point where I'm like, yeah, I'm done. Um, but it's time. It's, it's time. It's time. And I'm, I'm so thankful for every moment that I got playing. I'm so thankful for all the things that it brought me. I'm so thankful to the, my teammates, my, all my teammates, every team, the coaches, the referees, the fans, people who helped. You guys all made it such a great experience for me. And yeah, I, I specifically want to uh, shout out those players. There's a lot of players that came up to me this year and, and encouraged me and told me that because of, of me and, and the videos that I had made and produced, it encouraged them to, to pursue football um, harder and better and and now they're playing in like the highest league in Europe and so that was one of the coolest things for me to see throughout the year and it really made me realize that that football is just so much bigger than one person and and it made it easier for me to say okay you know what I'm I'm satisfied you know I don't need to win anything else I don't need to score another touchdown I I just want to embrace the moment fully and enjoy enjoy it one last time. So I have last my last game next week against Stuttgart in Germany, which is fitting because Germany is where it started in Europe and Germany is where it will end. And so, um, yeah, if you want to come to that last game in Stuttgart, I'd love to see you there, meet you. And, yeah, I appreciate all of it. I always remember, I always keep European football in my heart. And, and I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe there's a way that I will be connected to the growth of the sport continued as my life goes on and I continue to do other things back in the state. So that's all. Love you guys. Um, God loves you. Yeah. That's it. Sal's out.